Well, we're on the creek today, guys, to show you guys how to do this stuff in nature. The stuff we were doing in the tub, we now get to do in the creek. Now, this creek is only just trickling through here, but there is enough water in here for us to pan it. <laughs> I'm only going to show you guys a couple of pointers of where to find the gold today. There's all sorts of uh, techniques. You look for different things, but today I'm only going to show you two of them. And I want you guys to sort of focus on those two to dig out your gravel and see if you can find some gold. The first of which is we look at the creek and we try to find the inside curves. So if you look, say, down, downstream here, you can see that the whole creek is sort of curving off that direction. Curves. We always want to be digging on the inside of the curves. So, like this one here, inside. If you look up there, you can see that it curves around. You want to dig on the inside of that curve. Right here, you see a little bit of a curve that way. You dig on the inside of the curve. Now, you do have to sort of visualize what this river would have looked like when it was full of water, spring runoff, and how the water was rushing through here, coming around and doing this sort of S-bend as it goes. And you always want to work on those inside curves. The other trick for today, working on the inside curves, you want to try to find rocks, big rocks, and dig behind them. For instance, here's an inside curve. Here's a nice big rock. We dug right down in behind that. That's where you'd find the gold. The water flows over that rock, and anything heavy drops right away. Everything light keeps going. So the heavy stuff, like gold, down there. This morning when I had my morning class here, I was digging behind this rock here, digging right down there. I think I was also digging behind one over there. Find those big rocks and dig behind them. Now I need to talk to you a little bit about private property because we are in a town right now and there's private property all around us. Now in BC here, anytime you have a waterway, the creek bed itself is crown land, it's public land. You can't own the creek bed. People are allowed to walk up and down. I actually chose this area on this creek because the property lines anywhere upstream are quite a ways set back from the creek. Downstream, we only have about 10 feet on either side, but we're allowed to be in here. It's okay, we're, we can be here. So I want you guys to stay within sight of me. So either here, you can go on the other side of that greenery there, but either right here or right down there, I want everyone to stay in, in sight of me. And I want you to find a spot where you can dig behind a rock on an inside curve. And we're just gonna let you go and play for an hour and a half here and just experiment, see what you can find. <laughs> 